it isn't a new technology it's a very old technology the f oldest use of this was has been and continues to be for the production of charcoal you heap wood inside a closed bhatti you light a small fire at the bottom with a little hole on top and the gases ex escape from there and the charcoal is left behind in this case it is the gases that are very important and these gases can be combined to give you not only any form of transport fuel you want but also the entire range of plastics synthetic fibers even the base of urea the most important fertilizer that we have is produced by combining carbon monoxide and hydrogen the process that does this is uh, more than a hundred years old it's called the fischer tropsch synthesis you also get as a residue a thing called biochar biochar is the most valuable thing imaginable it's got the same characteristics as high grade cooking coal the biochar the carbon is actually again gasified to give you carbon monoxide and hydrogen which is then can be com combined into either petrochemicals or transport fuels Now in India we are desperately short of transport fuels and we pay about one third of all our imports and half our exports are made up of transport fuels. So that's a huge, there's a potential for a huge saving of foreign exchange there. The other thing is that for the farmer, this is a bonanza because so far his rice straw has been a waste. He's being fined for for, 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 for burning it in the fields, but he can't do anything else because otherwise he can't put in a wheat crop. So for him, when you do this, I have made calculations. The charcoal, the, the, the biochar briquettes can, can command anything between 10,000 and 20,000 rupees per ton at, at any steel plant, any gasification plant, any modern power station that requires high, high grade coal. And that's saying a hell of a lot. So this this is this is a technology that is only pluses, no minuses. Best part of it is that the first stage gasification, the simple gas, gasifiers at, at the farm level, already exist in India and are being used. Every group of two or three villages can have one of these, and from there the briquettes can go to a district. High high technology transport fuel pr pr producing gas gasification plant. And that is the two stages in which it can be done. At a time when, when agriculture is in a crisis, this is something that none of us should even think twice about exploring and, 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 and implementing.